Hey you guys, so today we're reviewing Pride Tarot. It comes in a box that opens like that, like a crayon box. What does it say? Love is, well, love, love. Bottom, side, and the back. Hundred and ninety-two page book. Pride is Pride Tarot is an incredibly diverse and unique deck that celebrates the LGBTQ plus community. This inspiring deck features forty-five artists from around the globe whose poignant and powerful stories highlight some aspects of the LGBTQ plus experience in the spirit of love and support. US Game Systems Inc. I love that they make good cards. Really good cards. Is proudly donating to the LGBTQ plus organization. I I do I do like that company. Oh my God, I know this guy. This is the guy from Queens. He died. He used to ride around on a white bicycle and he looked crazy. He'd wear the craziest outfits. Oh my God. Oh, this is cool. Let's look at the Ten of Cups. It's always Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles to see if it's good or not. This card speaks of love's ultimate dream of home and family for the rest of your days. It is joy and peace and the hope of the next generation. In the writer classic writer weight deck, I've long believed that Pamela Coleman Smith deliberately inserted herself into the Ten of Cups, depicting herself and her female partner living together as a family with two children of their own under a rainbow. I strongly believe, although we can never be for sure, that we were seeing in the card, it is card is the impossible dream of happy same-sex marriage drawn by a queer woman of color. Oh, wow. Over a century ago. Oh, my. I didn't know that. Hmm. I learned something. I wanted this card to be an homage in part to Pamela Coleman Smith and to the impossible dream which has finally come to reality for so many. This scene is intended to be the New York City Pride Parade in 2011, the summer that the same-sex marriage was finally legalized in New York. Well, just this book alone, I'm keeping the deck. This is, let's go look at the Ten of Swords. And then we'll start looking at the cards. I don't normally look... This, this is a good book. This is a great book. Oh my God, look at this picture. <laughs> like, I'm so intrigued already. Oh my. Well, you have multiple artists, you know, so it's not like, like one dimensional. The Ten of Swords depicts sadness and loneliness. The person who is portrayed here is an androgynous being without gender who lives, it pretty much looks like a girl, come on, who lives in an inner conflict between, because of their identity and for this reason, lives a challenging life. The devils that open the person's chest represent their inner demons, causing them heartache. Their head is detached from the body because their experience, they experience life through the mind and the body as two distinct entities without feeling integrated or accepted. They live as a sort of martyr from the eyes as seen in some secret images. Tears of blood seep out of the moon behind them represents the sort of halo of swords. The fuck? Mm -hmm. Well, fuck. I wanted to like this. Three of swords. Stained glass window. This is the last one and then we'll go ahead and look. I just want to see if they can redeem themselves. This card traditionally represents a deeply emotional, sorrowful experience, such as heartbreak, loss of relationship, or betrayal. Thank you. As individuals, we experience these feelings, but they can also be applied to the painful LGBTQ history. Okay, I don't want to... Okay, fine, I have to read it. The fear of coming out and the heartbreak of rejection, the weight of feeling different, and the need to hide by pretending to be someone else. The shame of being cast out of religious organizations, the hurtful insults and taunts, and the loss of lives from suicide and hate crimes. But the card also represents hope that these experiences make us stronger as individuals and as a community. Out of the pain comes growth and support. The stained glass window underscores the role that religion has played historically ooh, in the persecution of the LGBTQ+. But it also <laughs> is also a reminder that many faith-based organizations have chosen to reject hate and instead open their doors to the support and love. Okay, you know what? They're redeeming themselves. So I get it. I get it. This is, I'm telling you, this is the guy from New York who used to ride on his bike. That guy looked insane. Everybody knew him. Um, on the 31st of March, 2017, Gilbert Baker, the creator of the iconic rainbow flag, sadly passed away. Mr. Baker was both 
an LGBT activist, LGBTQ activist and artist, and was known for helping friends create banners for protests and marches. To honor the memory of Gilbert Baker, New Fest and NYC Pride partnered with Font Self to create a free font, a free font inspired by the design language of the iconic rainbow flag. The font was named Gilbert after Mr. Baker. That Gilbert is used throughout the deck. The Gilbert font. So that's what it says when you go to open this up. I'm so excited to look at this deck. I like the back. It's pretty. Life, healing, sunlight, nature, serenity, and spirit. Okay. I can't. I can't. The fool and the magician. I don't get it. I gotta. I gotta read it. Why? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. The high priestess. Oh, this looks like the spirit song book. That might be the. This might be the artist of the spirit song and the empress. The spirit song tarot. I did a review on it. This. This looks just like that artist. So I think she might have made this because that's very indicative of her style. Very indicative. <laughs> the Emperor and the Messenger, which is the higher font. I just love this deck already. The Lovers, oh, and the Chariot. <laughs> I'm looking at it for the first time too, so bear with me. I don't even know what time it is. I've been up here making videos. The strength and the hermit. I don't see it. Do you see it? What do you see? I don't see it. I have to read that one too. I don't see the hermit. Is that the hermit? The face here? Let's go read the hermit. This is confusing. I'm sorry, guys. It's weird. The Hermit is a tarot card closest to my heart. In general, meaning is reflection, the search of one's place in the universe and self-discovery. It is through solitude and meditation that we truly discover everything we need to know about ourselves. The Hermit carries a light that helps us find the way through and follow it. In my vision of the Hermit, the forest symbolizes the place I come to rest by myself and meditate. My hermit is learning at the foot of a powerful, healthy tree. Surrounded by nature, his garment is connected to the roots of the tree in order to absorb the energy, absorb the energy of the forest and nature to become one with the universe. The light, which symbolically helps him to find his own way, is given to him by fireflies dancing near him. Fireflies, to me, embody the lightness of being and the light illuminating the darkness. All right, this is the firefly. <laughs> this is the firefly, right? And I'm guessing that's his head and his body, because that looked like his hand. And that's the tree. Are we all seeing this? Because I did not see that at first. We can continue. Sorry, guys. Oh, I thought she was touching her titties. The justice and the hanged man. I was like, this is just too much. such a weird deck the death and the temperance i have a school called the intimacy school where i'm actually doing a documentary on homosexuality so if you guys are watching this and you want to be part of my documentary we could do zoom calls i'm in new york we can meet up the devil and the tower i do travel all over the world so i can meet you and, and video you there uh if you're interested please email me at the intimacy school at gmail.com that's t-h-e I-N-T-I-M-A-C-Y-S-C-H-O-O-L at gmail.com. Theintimacyschool.com. The moon and the star. It's interesting they chose the mermaid for the star. Oh, I'll get it. This, the sun and the judgment. 
I'm surprised this isn't more temperance, but. <laughs> the world and the ace of swords. Where's temperance? Did I miss it? I like the heel. Let's hold up. Way of the da -na 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 -na. number 14, right? I don't feel like I did this one. Did I do this Wheel of Fortune? I don't remember. The Wheel of Fortune? I don't remember doing that one. At all. Justice, the hanged man. I remember this. Temperance, I don't remember this one. Maybe I went through it so fast. That doesn't look like temperance to me. I'm very like, this looks like temperance to me. Anyways, just saying. Two of swords, three of swords. I do like the stained glass window. The conflict within. Four and the five of swords. Not my favorite card. Six and the seven of swords. I do love this one though. Huh? In the navy. <laughs> Eight and the nine of swords. Is that the same artist? It's 45 artists, but there's 78 cards. So some, I love this one. She kind of looks like Lady Gaga. 10 and the page. Something's off. Oh, it's because I didn't do the judgment. Like, you know, the judgment, but the... The one that I told you was missing, so these are all off by one. The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Oh, this looks good. That Queen of Swords is great. That is some fierce, fierce chick. King of Swords. You better come home on time. That's like a dad that's waiting by the door to make sure you're home on curfew. Ace and two of wands. That's really cool. It doesn't represent the two of wands, but it's pretty cool. Three and the four. It'd be fun if they had RuPaul in here. Five and six. This is the same artist as the other one. The one that I, I missed. Oh, this is seven and eight. Interesting. I like this one. I love snail mail. Nine and ten. This is pretty cool too. This is these are really nice. Page and night. Oh wow. This is a very interesting diverse deck. Queen and King. Same artist. It's the other one. I'm guessing. Of wands? That looks Huh. So unless you look at that, because I had to look at it twice. Fonzie, but it's not Fonzie. The ace and two. Oh, this is so cute. I mean, did you see my face right now? This just made me like, aw. I'm telling you, I think this is the lady who made the spirit song deck. Three and four. Five and six. What does that say? Sorbetes. Seven and eight. Burn, baby. Run, baby, run. Get out of there as fast as you can. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't know which one to choose. Nine and ten. This is weird for the nine of cups. Page and night. It's funny because when I see the page of cups, I always see like a conversation and the person's going like, hey, you want to hang out with me? And she's like, you want to hang out with me? And he's like, yeah, come on. And you're like, okay. But this time it's like, you want to hang out with me? <laughs> right? Queen. That's hysterical. And the king of cups. 
this guy's from New York. I'm telling you. I got to go look where this artist is from. Because this guy, he's from New York. I know this guy. Ace and Two of Pentacles. That made me smile. The Two of Pentacles made me smile a lot. Three and four. I like that they did the euro and the dollar. I can't see what the bottom ones are. Oh, wow. Wow. Five and six. I love the drag queens. This is really, wow. This is very good, good, good imagery. Six is usually reciprocation, right? Seven and eight. Seven is growth. Eight is work. Maybe you're growing spiritually. Nine and ten. Hmm. Page and oh, night. Super cool. This is cool. This one's cool. I'm sure the stories are going to be more. You'll understand when you read the stories. Queen and King. So I would probably only take this deck of cards out during Gay Pride Day. And since I have the intimacy school when I'm teaching an LGBT class, you know, or like um, an anal sex class for, because I do anal sex for queers, for people, you know, because sometimes you don't know what to do, you, you know. Why does it hurt so much? Because you're not doing it right. And you only learn from your peers, but I, I teach classes. Um, I'm doing that documentary on homosexuality. So if any of those people that are in the documentary while I'm interviewing them. Any of my interviewees decide if they want me to read for them, I would I would use this deck, if they want me to. Some people are just like, I don't want that thrown in my face, I'm gay, I don't need to see it again. Okay, as you wish, mofo. Can I kindly have two cards for the people that made it to the end of this video? Okay. Let me see. Unos y dos, por favor. Y más, si tú quieres. Uh oh They said, you get the seven of wands and the eight of wands. Hmm. Seven of wands is like crazy defensive energy, and the eight of wands is basically quick communication. So you might get some quick communication from someone who's a little bit defensive. Someone that maybe you pissed off. Or maybe misinterpreted something that you said. Or maybe somebody was throwing shade and said something that they weren't supposed to say to this person. Because that was another business. But they said it anyway. And then all of a sudden it caused some drama. I'm just saying. But I think it's about love. Maybe because you threw up on them. <laughs> One night and that made them crazy defensive. Like, did you know you threw up all over my shoes? They were brand new Louboutins. You better, you better pay for them. And you're like, I'm not paying for your shoes. Um, but it's a lovesick person. <laughs> That's all up in your business. Talk about come and enjoy what a woman gives her ombre. But first of all, see, I have to know your nombre. What I really want to ask you. Que si es verdad. And please, por favor, tell me la verdad. Um, this is mentirosa. <laughs> Ain't got nobody, baby. Anything else? Any final messages? You want to give these beautiful, amazing contests like yours are mine? If you guys do like the fact that I'm showing you all the cards so you know whether or not you want to buy the deck so we don't waste things that might be going into landfills and then like wasting carbon emissions by returning things, by all means, please support the channel because that's really what the channel's for is to help save that. I used to buy all these tarot card decks and then return them and I realized like just a lot of returns. This is not good for the earth. Mm. I have another tarot card deck that I bought at the Sex Expo in Manhattan. Not Manhattan, in Brooklyn. That they have every year around September. You can look it up on Eventbrite. It's usually free. 
you know sometimes if you want like a goodie bag you pay 10 or 25 dollars it's always worth it to get the goodie bag trust um but i bought a, a tarot card deck it's so provocative and i've never seen it anywhere else for like 10 bucks over there i loved it so just letting you guys know that if you go to the sex expo look for the tarot card deck if you're into tarot card decks because I've, I've never been able to find it again i only found it there um other than that i love you guys hugs and kisses thank you for watching my channel if you liked the video please like if you want to subscribe to see what other car, um, tarot card decks i'm going to be buying in the future because like i have a list of 120 that i want so if you want to donate i use the money to buy those decks um please by all means do so if you want to send me tarot card decks because you're a designer and you did it yes you did then you can go ahead and send it to me the address is below other than that i also read tarot as you can tell as i, I said before um on my tarot channel which is below i have like fifty thousand personalities when i read it because i'm channeling different energies um other than that xoxo until next time bye